Hi, Dr. D here. Um, so today I'm just going to take a minute to do a really basic entry level referencing uh, session um, on kind of how to reference something that's in a book. Um, I'll probably do a few more of these, getting a kind of bit more technical as we go along, but I just thought it would be really useful to have a quick kind of two minute um, that shows you uh, how to get the information, what it needs to look like, where the punctuation needs to go, and just so you've got all that info in one place. Um, so I've got a copy of Sight Them Right, I've got some bits and pieces, I'm just going to work it through and hopefully um, it will make some kind of sense. So here we go. So I've got a book here that I'm going to use as the basis um, for the referencing um, that I'm going to talk about today. You'll notice I'm quite old school here that I've got a hard copy of Cite Them Right as well. Um, obviously, um, you can get a hard copy or you can go on to the um, online site. It's got the same kind of information in there. Um, and um, I've got some examples here on my screen of... Um, the information that I've taken from the book. So I'm on page 127. Oh, can you tune that in? There we go. 127 of this book. And I'm looking at this section here on um, social relationships and theory of mind. I've just, you know, it, the content doesn't matter. It's the process that we're going to talk about. But um, that's um, what I'm going to use. And so I'm going to imagine I've read this uh, this chapter here or this paragraph here. And I'm thinking, all right, OK, that's what I need to put in my assignment or in my essay, that kind of information. And so one way I could do that would be to write a sentence like this. So Ludlow and Gutierrez, and you'll see that they're the name of the authors. There they are right on the front of the book, Ludlow and Gutierrez. Um, Ludlow and Gutierrez are the authors. So I'm going to put them at the beginning. And then in brackets... Not italicised, not bold, nothing like that. Just in brackets, I've got the date of publication. Now, where do I find that? So if I go back to my book, I'm going to turn into... It's usually the second page, and you'll see there's a whole load of information there. And right up at the top, it says 2014, yeah? Um, and a bit lower down, it'll say that again, first published 2014. So that's where I get that publisher information from. And so I've got the, the, the authors, I've got the date of publication, and then I've written what I um, understand the content of that chapter to be, or the content of that paragraph to be. Yeah? So I've said they're saying something about sibling relationships and theory of mind. Now, I could present that a different way. So what I could do is um, say what the information is. Yeah, so sibling relationships impact upon theory, uh, development of theory of mind. And then I'm going to put where I got the information from all in brackets. So I'm either going to do it. Um, I'm either going to start by saying that those people had said it or I'm going to end by saying where I've got the information from. And you'll notice the difference here is that the author's name is in the bracket as well. And then there's a comma and then there's the date of publication. And then this is important. The full stop comes after the bracket. OK, if you put a full stop before that bracket and then open a sentence with a bracket, that's not going to make sense. So for, if I was to put the full stop here, which some people do. That means that this information doesn't relate to that previous sentence. So I don't know where this information has come from if I'm marking it, because that sentence tells me that um, that's the end of that piece of information and I'm and this is going to be new stuff. So we don't want to send a full stop there. No, 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 no. We want a full stop here. And that's why I've put this second sentence after it so you can see what that looks like. OK, so the full stop, the sentence has to include the author and the publication date. If you put the if you put the full stop before it or some people I've seen um, I've marked on there like this, they've got a full stop um, in front of the bracket and a full stop after the bracket that that's incorrect. So you just need to make sure that the bracketed information about the author and the publication date is inside the sentence. Um, that the information relates to. Um, okay, so what another thing I might want to do is actually take the words 
that Ludlow and Gutierrez have used. So if I go back to my text here, I can see that they say um, social interaction, um, which the child engages in, are critical to theory of mind development. And I might think, oh, well, I can't put that in my own words. I can't put it any better than that. So I'll actually use those words. And so that's going to look like this. So I'm back to the um, the, the um, author's surnames and then I'm opening a bracket with that date in it, then a comma and then the page number that, that those words came from. And then inside the inverted commas, I've got the actual exact words that are there on page 127. So if I go back to the book, um, if I go back here, I've got that sentence. Um, social interactions in which the child engages are critical to theory of mind development. And there it is there, social interactions in which the child engages are critical to theory of mind development. Now, in um, Cite Them Right, um, it will tell you there about um, direct quotations, okay? So on the um, how to set up the citations section. Um, with regard to where the... Um, page number goes it can i it can go there which is obviously where i've put it it's not wrong if you want to do it this way so we could put a bracket there and then we can put that page number i can delete that from there and i could um oh, let me put the bracket back in um and then i could put that page number um at the end here in brackets um page one two seven um, I could do it that way. It, you, both ways are correct. The important thing is that you've got the page number in there. Okay. And again, the full stop is going to come after um, the sentence at the end of the sentence. So that's what it's going to look like in the text. And then the last bit to remember is to put it in your reference list. Again, if you look in Cite Them Right, it's going to give you examples there of how to... Um, put work in your reference list yeah so it says here um, in your reference list the publications will look like this and the way that that goes is you've got you've got the author's surname with a comma and then their initial with a full stop yeah surname comma initial full stop date of publication okay and remember we got that from the um frontispiece at the, at the front of the book here yeah so we've got the name of the author, we've got the publication date, we've got all that gubbins there. Then we've got the title of the book in italics with a full stop after it. And then we've got the publication, uh, the publisher's um, information. So we've got the place of publication. And where have I got that from? You guessed it. I got it from the information on this um, second sheet in. And you'll see P uh, Palgrave Macmillan in the UK um, and here's the address. So it's from Basingstoke. So I've got Basingstoke there. And the name of the publisher is Palgrave Macmillan. So that's what it's going to look like in the reference list. So we've got what the sources look like in the writing, what the sources look like in the reference list. Um, obviously, the rest... Of so hope that was um, okay and it kind of clarified things out. Like I said, I'll come back to that and perhaps do some stuff on uh, journals and um, how you cite work that was in other sources. Um, we might dip our toe scarily into the world of um, online resources as well. Um, but just um, hopefully that's made some sense to you and cleared up um, a couple of uh, questions that you might have. And who knows, might even get you an extra grade. Fingers crossed.